Hey guys, so there is a mission. Uh, there's a story mission because it's in the yellow. Um, and this mission is with a question mark, so we kind of don't know who we might be doing this mission with or for. So I'm gonna head over there and see what this is all about. Okay, so I'm here. Excuse me. Hey. hey. Do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Sir Kang. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Great. Wait. Quick, 
You could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Um, give me a sec. I'm just gonna take some weapons. Okay. And maybe a hat, if I have one. Do I have a hat? Arthur's hat, okay. So I need to... Oh, damn. Okay, just in time, actually. Like five seconds later, I would I would not make it. See what I'm gonna do. Okay, there's a guard. I see him on the map. Oh damn! Please hey, don't see me. Hey Tom, picking up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. I have no idea what to do. Better get a move on then. But the whole point is to sneak in, so. He didn't see me, are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, I was here once. It was really difficult to get in here. I was about to steal an oil wagon. Wagon. Yeah. Trying. Okay, I'm I'm looking at the map, so I gotta hurry a little. Thank God for a map. Um, do want? Oh shit! Um, okay. Need to be quiet. Damn it. Um, I can't go on this side. Okay, I think now is the time. Fast. Okay, okay. Shh. There's another guy. He won't see me, I think. Oh my god, this is going really well. I can't believe it. Okay. Shh. There's another there's a guy. Damn it. Okay. This went really well. I can't believe it. Oh my god, really? First try. You must be damn Barry. <clears throat> what? Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Come on, just give me the file. Come Danbury. on. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. Okay, but he's gonna call for help. 
if I let him go, probably. You're doing good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, Danbury. Please, Danbury. Tell the guard, you're fine. Yes, it's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Danbury, please. Danbury, please. Shh. Dead. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Are we good? I'm coming. Where are you, dude? Oh, no, no, no. He's here. I did. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Horse. That went really well. I can't believe it. I'll get him. Um, eagle eye. Oh, uh, whatever. What was it called? Dead eye. I was like eagle eye. Who's the other guy? No. God damn it. Okay. What the hell was that? I did something wrong. I did something wrong, I have no idea. Clear. Keep going. I am. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. What? $200? Okay, great, that went really well. So what are we doing now? Let me check. Uh, Mary Beth, what's Mary Beth? Right, right, right. 
So this is in camp, really far away. Okay, so I'm gonna... And I am... Where am I now? I'm here in, like, near Valentine. So I'm gonna head back to camp and do this mission. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, um, so I'm here. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need <laughs> sure. more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes, and quick! Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. Do you don't know what Great. happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. <laughs> See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Miss Grimshaw. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. <laughs> okay, I have one gun. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I okay, now what? Oh. I'll deal with him. Okay. Okay, here we go. Face of yours, and I know that she? for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by I it. I said, you said your last word. Well, what do you Damn think? woman. There and find our girl. Okay, wait, shotgun. Hit me. This is quietly. Find her before I put a bullet in her head. Shh. I'm gonna keep your ears on a necklace. You back 
the hell off right now! What the hell? There's just one here. What if this is not the place? Alright. I don't know which room this is. Get out! It's okay, Mr. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... It uh... yeah, don't matter what you thought, it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, oh, grab his gun. Damn. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the mall. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with him. All right. Bring him back friend. alive. Small ass, so. Damn it, I can't see because of this tree. Um. Damn it, I hate this lasso. Okay, he's like nearby. Why can't I get to him? Come on! Look at these cowards! Got him! Now, keep on the other side! Aha! Oh, that's not him! Are you kidding me? I thought it was him! Are you kidding me? Um, where are my guns? Can't this horse go any faster? No. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Now lasso! Get away. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come here. Go on. Rope that oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> Rope that son of a bitch. Come on. Um... Okay, I'm gonna just get close. Now. Make these nice and tight. With pleasure. I don't know where the woman is, so I'm just gonna run a little. Okay, I'm here. All right. Here's your man. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. 
finish I mean, that Tilly girl said you know my choice. not to kill him, so... All right, you. <sighs> Let's get you home. Now get out of here. And he disappeared. 